Oh, well, the boy's kind of small. George Shrinks. Oh, but it doesn't show at all. George Shrinks. Because he's always acting tall. George Shrinks. Oh, George Shrinks, George Shrinks, he's called. Oh, if a problem should be found. George Shrinks. Oh, he's the boy to have around. George Shrinks. Oh, something big or something small. George Shrinks. Oh, George Shrinks, George Shrinks, he's called. George Shrinks seems to find a way to make his dream. Come true each day. His brother Junior does a call. George Shrinks. Well, Dad blows a bugle call. George Shrinks. And Mama keeps an eye on all. George Shrinks. George Shrinks. George Shrinks. George Shrinks. George Shrinks. George Shrinks. one of those good news, bad news kind of days. Bad news was that I had to spend a beautiful Saturday working on a project for the science fair. The good news was that the project was to observe the habits of the animal of my choice. And the animal of my choice was the frog. George, amphibian at nine o'clock. <gasps> Irregular spot. Short legs, knobby glandular projections. Warts, gotta be Bufo Americanus. Nothing against the good old American toad, but I'm holding up for a frog. Better jumping power. And look, George. Smooth green skin, bright yellow throat. I think it's Rana Clematens. Correct. Dimondo, the trusty old green frog. The key to successful frog catching was planning, and I was prepared for anything. Come on, come on. George! <laughs> well, almost anything. Over here, Junior. <laughs> what doing, George? <laughs> We're very cleverly catching a frog. Uh, if you want to get technical, I guess we're very cleverly not catching a frog. Me help? Thanks, Junior, but I think Becky and I can handle this. Where'd he go? Becky. Frog, George. That's right, Junior. Green frog, George? That's right. Pretty frog. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, George, maybe we should let Junior help. Why? <laughs> Look. <laughs> <gasps> well, so much for planning. Way to go, little buddy. Now don't move. Uh-oh. <laughs> on the fine Corinthian leather. There's plenty of room in back. I think he wants to ride in the Zupra car. Huh. I wish he told me before I spent all night building the frog collector. I have to go home for breakfast. I'll come back after I eat. We'll be upstairs, having a croak along. <laughs> This is the custom-decorated, specially-prepared George Shrinks Frogarium, your home away from home. Fly strip, moth light, running water, amphibious treadmill, and in case you need some exercise, think of it as an all-expense-paid vacation. Yeah, sorry, that's just Dad trying out one of his new instruments. Froggy, oh, where'd he go now? Yeah, I, I know. He he'll get it right soon. I hope. Uh, come on down and make yourself comfortable. I'll start my observing with a sketch. 
Uh, Froggy, you can come down now. Hungry Froggy? I'm famous for my crispy french fries. Come on, I'll whip up a little something. Uh-oh. Hey! Oh no, oh no, 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 no. <gasps> No. Oh, wait, Froggy. Uh, uh, we offer complimentary room service. Aw, oh, no. Come back. Uh. Hey. Sorry about that, Mom. Coming through! No! And uh, not down the steps! Where'd he go? <gasps> Yikes! How about signaling before you stop? Yeah, you're right. I think I got a, a frog in my horn. Sorry, Dad. My science project got a little out of hand. Just like my noodle horn experiment. Oh, well, back to the drawing board. I hadn't exactly planned on the great fly chase, but once I got the frog in the frogarium and the frog prince out of the carpet, things got back to normal. Almost. Eight and two sixteenths inches around. Wow, that's half an inch more than yesterday. What are you feeding him? He hasn't really been eating at all. Maybe we need to change his menu. Ugh. A dozen cans of deep fried flies. Regular and extra swampy. Four quarts of bud juice. Shoe fly pie. Sure you got enough amphibian eats here, George? Let's start off with some good old fashioned frog food pellets. Mr. Froggy, dinner time! Mr. Froggy? George, he's gone. Hmm. Uh, looks like Froggy's hopped the coop. And left it full of goo. Goo? Uh, you mean Mr. Frog was Mrs. Mrs. Frog? <laughs> well, I'll be a Froggy's uncle. My science project just laid an egg. <laughs> <laughs> More like a hundred of them. Dad wasn't exactly right. The common green frog lays about 2,000 eggs. <laughs> but who's counting? Now, I really hadn't planned on this little development, but my science project had just gone from cool to more fun than a tub full of tadpoles. We're going to need more containers for the tadpoles. Why bad poles, George? <laughs> Not bad poles, Junior. Tadpoles. Ah. Oh. Here, Junior. Frog eggs hatch in water, so first they turn into little fish-like things with gills so they can breathe in everything. See, these are called tadpoles. That ought to do it. I knew a few thousand froggy juniors would need more than just my frogarium. So, I borrowed every fishbowl, wash tub, and flower vase in the neighborhood. Okay, team. One jar of eggs for each container. Junior. 100 down, 19 jars to go. George, what are you going to do with 2,000 frogs? Coming! Hello, Eunice. Hello, Perdita. It really is too kind of you to indulge my artistic urges like this. <laughs> my pleasure. Come in, come in. A little something of my own creation. <laughs> Fresh baked scones. <gasps> Whoa. Why, thank you, Eunice. Perfect for our first tea break. Now let's get you set up in the studio. George, there are still four jars of eggs left. 
And no more containers. Cup, George? <laughs> Thanks. But it needs to be a little bigger than that, Junior. There's nothing left bigger than a water glass. Dad's got to have something hidden away in the garage. Come on. <laughs> One down. Aha! Uh -huh. Two down. Ah, should be right here under the three-legged kitchen table. Aha! <gasps> How about this, Georgie boy? Ta-da! <laughs> Silly daddy. At least you know it's watertight. Yep. It's perfect. Three down, one to go. I must have one more container. I got everything in here but the kitchen sink. Oh, that's it. What? What did I do with that kitchen sink? Now I see why you artistic types do it. Yes, it is fun. Fun? It's simply life affirming. What will it be like when I paint without the numbers? T? Oh, please. I'm afraid I've gotten a bit worked up. Jam on your scone, Perdita. Just plain, thank you. Hmm, doesn't this look interesting? Hello, kids. Who wants homemade scones with jam? They're delicious. <gasps> You can't eat those. Oh, I do, George. Of course I can. I make them myself. Oh. Uh, no, not the scones. Uh, the jam. It isn't jam. It's frog eggs. I'm afraid you're wrong, George Bernard Franks. These eggs have hatched. It worked. My eggs are turning into chud. I'm very happy for you, George. George, let's see if you can keep those polywogs in your room, okay? <laughs> you got it, Mom. This is going to be the greatest science fair project ever. Day in the life of a tadpole. Froggies, George? Not yet, Junior. They're still larvae. See? They're like tiny worms. Just like little fish. They can even breathe underwater. Junior, look. Hind legs. He's metamorphosing. Megamorphin? <laughs> You can just say he's growing into a genuine frog. Good job, buddy. Here, buddy. Here, buddy. Good idea, Junior. We'll call him Buddy. As the week wore on, things were going swimmingly. Buddy was on his way to full-grown froghood. My science project was looking great. And everyone was getting in on the act. Even Aunt Eunice. But eventually, all good things must come to an end. Uh-oh. Jar break in tank 12. Full on metamorphosis in tank seven. They're scrambling out of 10 and 38. Uh oh. These guys are getting too big for their containers, George. <gasps> too much fog, George? 
no such thing as too much frog, Junior. Just not enough lids. We just need a few... Uh, dozen covers. A little more tea, Eunice? No, thank you, Perdita. I'm fine. Painting is so soothing for the nerves. Oh. <laughs> oh, my. That's coming along nicely. The squiggles on the tail really give a sense of movement. They do? Yes, they do. They do with that. Emergency. Do we have any extra lids, Mom? What for? Uh, the tadpoles. They grew legs and are making a break for it. You didn't plan on the legs part, huh? Uh, I guess not. Froggy, froggy, froggy. <laughs> <laughs> How about these? Thanks, Mom. <laughs> At least somebody around here planned for this. Froggy, froggy, froggy! Ooh, froggy! Oh, George! Sorry about that. We'll take these back upstairs. Thank you, Mrs. String. Mom saved the tadpoles and my science project from getting totally out of hand. Well, for a little while, anyway. George! Uh-oh. Yeah, it did kind of sound like a uh-oh. Let's go see what happened. What is it, Mom? I believe those are yours. Sorry, Mom. Buddy? Buddy! Well, how was I supposed to know Buddy liked to play leapfrog? I think it's a coffee morning. <laughs> oh, George! Says there's nothing good on TV. Ooh, ooh. George. Dad, have you seen my frogs? Uh, George, you have to do something about these frogs. It's only until the science fair, Dad. Well, all right, but, but we can't have frogs in every room in the house. I know. I didn't plan on my plan hatching like this. I think it's time to centralize the science project once and for all. It's only a matter of... I know. Planning. I was trying to have the best science project I could, but if I'm not careful, I'm going to end up with no science project at all. Well, I'm sure you'll think of something. You're all right. I've got a plan! Good for you, George. Now, back to work for dear old Dad. Hey! Sorry, Dad. I think Buddy thinks you're the hippity hoppest. Maybe he could hippity hop out of my horn? My reed's getting soggy. to try some watercolors this week, Eunice. I can't wait to get painting. <gasps> George. Yes, Mom? I thought you had a plan to get the frog population explosion under control. I do. Come and see. It was a lot of work turning the basement into an amphibian ecosystem, but it was worth it. Well, George, this is really something. 
Did you know that frogs have been on Earth for at least 190 million years? They say an artist should know her subjects. And there are at least 4,500 species of frogs. For some reason, that doesn't surprise me at all. Mm -hmm. But where are your frogs, George? They're, uh, not exactly here yet. What's wrong? Uh, we haven't actually figured out a way to, uh, get them here. But, uh, I do have a plan. You do? Yes, my plan for the frogs is... We're, uh, well, we're gonna have to catch them. Welcome, folks, to the Great Shrinks Family Frog and Tadpole Roundup and Rodeo. The females of the Australian ray of the Kraken's frogs swallow their eggs and hatch them out as fully grown froglets. You know. No kidding. I remember the frog of all. What I need is a Zuper minivan. 28 cup holders. <laughs> <laughs> Things could be worse, I suppose. George could have done a science project on alligators. I'm not even gonna ask how you got up here. Hope you guys can swim. What am I saying? Of course you can swim. <laughs> Do you think we got them all? I think we got them all. No, oh, no. There's more. That's just Buddy. He's gonna stay upstairs with me. Oh, well, it's been quite a day. And you have to be up bright and early for the science fair. Time for bed? I'm ready. That's a first. Night, Mrs. Shrinks. Night, George. Night, buddy. Tomorrow's the big day. Good night, buddy boy. Let's go, buddy. Hop to it. We gotta get this show on the road. Okay, fellas, time to head over to the science fair. Uh-oh. The, the problem? Uh, the problem is, how in the world am I gonna get 2,000 frogs out of here and into the car? Seems I hadn't thought of one more, uh, a little detail. But that didn't mean I had completely run out of ideas. If the whole family helped get the frogs into the basement... <laughs> Maybe the whole family wouldn't mind helping me get the frogs out of the basement. And it worked like a dream. At least it worked like a dream until... my frogs heard the call of the wild. Or the croak of the wild, to be exact. They're all gone. Yeah. <sighs> Every last frog. Well, not quite everyone. Buddy! Well, I hope this doesn't ruin your project, George. I don't think so, Dad. I've seen the life cycle of frogs. From the eggs, all the way to when they go off looking for a new family. I guess you have. And besides, I still got my research. And I've got Buddy. That's plenty for the science fair. Are you sure? That's all I ever planned on having. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Good luck! Sure was fun to be overrun with frogs. 
but I guess I'd bitten off a little bit more than I or any of us could chew. Maybe next time, I'll be a little more careful about how big a project I take on. Like Mom says, it's all a matter of planning. But I don't think I could ever have planned on my science project being such a riveting experience.